Hi everyone, this is episode 8, of the Knowledge Productivity video series. Today I'm going to show you, how you can create a live poll in Microsoft PowerPoint. To get started, head to forms.office.com. If required, enter your Office 365 email address to log in. You will be presented with options to create a new form or quiz. We will choose the form option here to create a poll. On the Create Poll page, feel free to provide a title and description for your poll. Click on Add New, and you can choose the various options like Multiple Choice, Text, Rating, Date, and more. We will go ahead and choose the Multiple Choice option, and add a sample question for the poll. Add the choices under the question. You can add as many options as needed by clicking the Add Option link. There are some settings available under the options, like multiple answers, which will allow the users to vote on multiple options. You can also add an image to the question from this button. Feel free to add more questions if needed, from the Add New button, and choose the format which you prefer. Once done, click on the present button at the top right corner to start presenting the poll. You can now see the live voting results on the screen, with a QR code to the left, for the users to scan with their phones and vote. As the users vote, you will be able to see the results in real time on the screen. You can also choose the option to view the results in a bar graph format or the default tree map format. Now, let's see how to embed this poll directly in PowerPoint. Choose the slide where you would like to embed the poll. Click on the Insert option in the menu bar and then choose Forms. You will see a form sidebar to the right, with the sample poll that you just created. Click on the Insert button, and it will then ask you how you would like to embed this poll. You can either choose to collect responses offline, directly in the slides after the meeting is over, or choose the interactive engagement option, which will show the results in real time on the slide. We choose the interactive engagement option, and as you can see the results are now shown live on the slide as the users vote. That's it. Hope you find it useful. The productivity video series is brought to you by Knowledge. To know more about our core services, please visit Knowledge.com.